Okay, if you're watching this video, yes, I'm serious. This combine has AIDS. You want me to just leave it at that, or you want me to uh, explain it? I'll just, I'll just show you. Come here, I'll show you. AIDS. You can see there's a little hole right here. It's also got some right here. It's also got some on its undercarriage. Now, no, I am not making fun of AIDS. That is a very serious disease. But I'm not talking about that disease. I am talking about this. Auger induced decay syndrome. And this combine, this John Deere 42 combine has got it bad. But it just so happens that I have the cure, okay? I have done extensive research on this disease. And to fix it, we have, see if I can't point you down. Boop, 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 boop. A MIG welder right there. An old auger pipe. Between those two things, I think we can manage to cure this thing. The plan for this one, if you guys haven't seen anything about this or heard anything about this, this is a John Deere 42 combine uh, pull type. And we just picked up a, oh, was it two, a 234 corn head? We just picked up a 234 corn head for it. And it's a two row corn head. Uh, we're gonna straighten it up, get everything working on it mechanically. And hopefully, 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 we will have this rip roaring and ready to go for our show, which is gonna be two years from now now. Enough stalling, let's cure this thing. Let's see, this doctor clearly wasn't trained. Look at that, see that? See the disease hasn't progressed that far in this pipe. This patch was most likely done by Tom Renner, MD. He does some pretty good work here and there. So one of the most important things to consider when using old augers is that this auger got replaced for a reason. And that reason is it's also wore out. So when I'm using this old stuff, I always make sure to mark where the worn down side is so that I can be sure to use the opposite side because I know that'll be the thickest part. Just a little tip, just to make sure you don't want to end up using the, the thin side because then you're going to be in the same spot you were and you're not going to cure anything. So Okay, so you can see I've got the war side marked out here. So I'm going to flip it over and use this side. We're gonna take a break from that quick so I want Grandpa's opinion on it and he's not here right now. And we're gonna work on this one up here. Uh, I did some welding on this one last night. I wish I wouldn't have because I didn't have my camera. But um, I'm throwing a patch in on this last six inches here and it'll really strengthen it up. There was a crack uh, about two thirds of the way around on this pipe. So getting this one patched up, it should be, a, it'll, it will be a lot stronger. It's already a lot stronger and it's not even totally welded in. Um, so it just takes some time. Welding this thin stuff, you really gotta take your time so you're not uh, punching holes through everything, so. Shout out to Jake for this good camera stand. It's his 4430 he's been working on, but makes for a pretty good camera stand. There she goes. Just got rid of our 555 high lift, so uh, had to go load that up for Darren, and he threw some chains on it, and he's on his way. Oh, wow. This one's really bad. God, is it lunchtime yet? I'm about starved. The top auger is pretty much wrapped up. I've got both pipes cut out for the bottom. Um, they should be ready to go. I'm gonna run and grab lunch because I just can't take it anymore. We are back from lunch, but uh, let's take a second and run outside quick. Darren just got back and dropped off 
a surprise. Not a surprise, but, well, it'll be a surprise to you guys. We traded in that 555 high lift for this. A new John Deere skid steer. So we're gonna run it back to the hay shed, do some donuts with it, and put it away. This ought to be interesting. There's no key in this thing, so you have to like punch in a code to get it to go in. Uh, it's got a radio too, but uh, it's got a radio. We can't play that right now because I'm not gonna get uh, demonetized by YouTube. So there it is. Okay, we are cooking. Gotta put this thing down and swap hands with the camera real quick. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sweet. It's like a tank compared to those other skid steers we have. Yeah, side by side comparison, these things are not even close to the same. We're planning on using this deer for heavier stuff like dirt work, big dirt work projects, and putting it on the bush hog. We've got a, a bush hog we can throw on the front of there to, to mow ditches and, and fence lines and stuff like that. Poor guy. Must have been the Rona. Hi, bud. Hi. Yeah. I think this is Jim or Jake. I'm not sure which one you are. We got both pieces ready to go here. We threw them in a vise to squeeze them a little bit, and that way they fit a lot better down there. Well, we just about had it all welded up, uh, but the gas the gas quit on me. So I got to run and grab a new tank quick. Um, but I'm gonna call it here for today on this video. So don't worry. Uh, I think I think we about cured this combine. First one we did. I got it tacked in up there. Same thing on the back side. That front pipe did the same thing. Just tacked it in over there. We're waiting on a piece for the one auger over there. We're waiting on a piece for the unloading auger and then we should be ready to go. So I'm gonna cut it off here. Thanks for watching guys. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.